Hi, I'm Kevin with Overland Florida. I'm based in the Tampa. And we pretty much just travel all over the state, all the way from Pensacola, all the way down to the Four Keys. That's Overland Florida, that's the logo. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, this is my truck setup right now. It's always changing, just like everything else in the state of Florida. I have my trusty ARB refrigerator. Um, it's literally been outside in the bed of my truck before I had my topper. Extreme heat, all the Florida storms, hurricanes, you name it, and it's never stopped working. Uh, it does look weathered, but I really recommend it. That's probably the, it's probably one of the best refrigerators I've ever owned. Um, other than that, I have a homemade torch system, and this is pretty much all my camping stuff uh, as far as cast iron. We actually used that last night. That's why there's food there. <laughs> we didn't have any water with us to clean it. Um, LED lights, more cast iron, chair, uh, sleep system. That's my hammock. Um, in the further back, I have all my winch stuff, winch remote, there's a strap back there, um, some <laughs> clevis, tree savers, that kind of stuff. Over here is just some spices, uh, I have Coleman stove, um, tin foil, cups, just the basic stuff you need for just a night of camping. Um, the nice thing about these, uh, having a drawer system, is they're five foot long. So they just kind of keep going and going and going, and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. I do sleep in the back, so basically when I set up camp, I just take the uh, cooler out and I have a sleep bag. I just sleep sideways with a sleeping head. It's actually pretty comfortable. Um, it's nice if you're camping with a lot of people or you're going to events. Uh, using the topper, it kind of dampens the noise so other people don't keep you awake. I'm a really light sleeper, <laughs> so, it, so it works out that way. Um, I do have power in the back of the truck. I have a plug for the refrigerator uh, with the inverter. I also have a cigarette lighter, a voltmeter, and then of course the power strip for charging headlamps, lights, cameras, phones, you name it, tablets. I just installed this bumper last night. It is the Brute Force bumper. It's used, as you can tell. I bought it for your friend. Uh, it's really nice. It has a table that folds down. It's really nice for the grill or if you're somewhere that doesn't have a, a, a table or whatnot. It does have water jugs and a uh, fire extinguisher holder and a lot of other accessories that can be added to it. Um, this is an Overland Series ARB topper. It came with bed liner on it. That's why it kind of looks like this. I peeled the bed liner off and I'm actually going to paint it next week to match the rest of the truck. Those are TRD uh, 4Runner wheels. They did not come on the, the uh, Tacoma, they came on the 4Runner. These are Forsome MT-08 mud tires. They're kind of like a knockoff of the uh, BFG mud trains. Uh, really recommend them. They have 7,000 miles on them now, no issues. Uh, there wasn't an issue to balance. They didn't use a lot of weights or anything. Really smooth on the road. I have a Dobbinson's rear suspension. Uh, 700 pound static load springs, so they're really stiff for all the weight of the bumper, the topper, all the gear that goes in the back of the truck. Uh, Prinsu roof rack with a tough stuff awning. The awning is eight and a half feet, I'm sorry, six and a half feet, and it comes out eight feet. And it also has a room in it to use as a tent. On the front, I have Old Man Emu springs. The total lift is about two, two and a half inches for the lift. But Old Man Emu Springs, and it has the heavier duty springs for the weight of the front bumper. I have Cali raised uh, lights on the front and the little brackets that go on the hood. And this is probably my favorite part of the truck. I'm a bumper person. I had a couple Jeep Rubicons before this, and I love the ARB bumper. I have this mini built X20 winch with a synthet synthetic rope line and a wireless remote. Here I have a Dobbinson's snorkel. Really good snorkel, really easy to install if you've never done one or you're worried. Really easy, has a really nice pattern, makes insulation really nice. And I have a Donaldson's uh, pre-filter on top. And what that does, I get a lot of questions. It basically, when the air is going up through, it creates a swirling motion. And any sand or leaves or dragonflies or anything that gets caught in there, gets slung to the outside and falls down to the bottom. So it basically, catches a lot of stuff before your stock air filter would, so your stock air filter, air filter uh, lasts a lot longer. It's really nice. I had it on my Jeep Rubicon. I kind of just like that style, so I put it on my Toyota as well. Other than that, that's pretty much the basic. The inside of my truck is pretty much stock. I just have a couple Bofang radios. They're nice to have. 
uh, especially if you're trail riding and someone else doesn't have a CB or cell phone service. Uh, they last they last a long time on a battery. Other than that, that's my, uh, my truck for Overland Florida. You'll see it in all my videos and pretty much every video you see is going to be a different stage because it's always changing. I always have different bumpers, different wheels. Sometimes I have a bed rack in the back, a rooftop tent. You know, it's, it's always nice to just change and go through things. 